Okay, so let's do the this first one. So this, these examples they were taken from the Ebler book Statics, which is a book that is recommended for this model. Uh, so the idea of this example in, in this question 318 is to obtain the forces in the cables. AC and AB. Uh, this 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 system or this 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 structure is uh, is is holding its weight at point D of 20 kilograms. This ball, and you also have applied at point A this force 300 newtons, F. So this is typically a, a, a problem of the equilibrium of a particle or equilibrium of a point. Uh, and uh, what we have to do is we have to basically isolate this point, point A. So I'm going to isolate this point A. Going to put it here. Right. And then what I have to do is I just have to represent all the forces that are acting on this point A. Um, we can start with the weight of the ball. So if I have if I add the weight of the of the ball, I will have this this force here, vertical direction. And uh, the, the, the value of this force is equal to the mass of the ball, which is 20 kilograms times the acceleration of gravity, right? Which I will consider 9.81, around 9.81, okay? This will give me the, the weight basically is the weight of the ball, which is the first force I'm considering at point A. Second force I will consider is this force F, 300 newtons. So it is this horizontal force here. So we know the value of this force. I'm just going to put here 300 newtons. Right? The units of this of the weight is going also to be newtons, of course. So we have the horizontal force F. What else do we do we need to include? We need to include the forces in the cables AC and BC, right? So let's start with cable AB. So we will have this force here. Also. <coughs> I will say this is my force F, A, B. Vector here. Right? And uh, the other force I have is the force in the other cable, cable AC, which I need to include here. F, A, C. So that's all the forces I have in point A, right? Um, uh, the, the other way you, you, can, you can also use to, to represent these forces is the, the idea here is to isolate point A, right? So you can imagine that, like if you have a scissor, right? And you are cutting the cables, cutting uh, the cable that is holding the, the ball. And then when you cut the cable, you need to include the force in the cable, all right? Always like that. So in order to isolate point A, you need to cut all these cables. And then when you cut the cables, you are doing the free body diagram. And when you are cutting the cables, you need to include the forces in the cables, right? Which are internal forces in the cables. Okay, so these are all the forces we have in the cables. 
the only thing we need now to, to do is uh, to write the equilibrium equations for uh, a particle, <coughs> right? And those equilibrium equations are summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero, summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero, right? In a two-dimensional problem, this is what we have. Or if you want, you can do this in a different way. You can just add all the vectors. Right, so I'm going, I'm going to use the red color to do in a different way. We are going to add all the vectors. So in order to add all the vectors, I need to have a coordinate system, right? We talked about this last Tuesday. So I'm going to consider this is my x direction and this is my y direction, right? So we have our particle A, we have a coordinate system x, y in two dimensions in this case, this is a two-dimensional problem, and we have all the forces acting on point A. So this is the free body diagram <coughs> of particle A. Now we can start adding all these vectors together, so I'm going to start with this 300 newtons, this, this force vector here, I'm going to, to add it here. So we have only a component in the horizontal x direction, agree with me? So this 300 newtons only has a component in the horizontal direction, so I'm going to write it <coughs> 300, 0, right? You all agree with me? This is the force F, the horizontal force F of 300 newtons. Second vector I'm going to consider is going to be this one, the weight. The weight. So the weight, so I'm going to add this weight vector. And this weight vector has a component in the y direction only, but it's going to be positive or negative? Negative, negative right? Is because... <coughs> The direction of this vector is opposite to the coordinate axis y. So I need to say x component of this force is 0, y component is minus 20 times 9.81. Right? Now we are going to work these other two forces, the forces in the cable, FAC and FAB. But before we do that, we need to <coughs> decompose these forces into the coordinate axis, right? We need to do that first, so... All right, so we can... We can obtain these angles here. They are not difficult. Uh, before that, don't forget, for this example, 318, the, this distance d is equal to one meter, right? For the example we are doing, this distance is equal to one meter. So if I want to get, for example, this angle here, from here to here, how much is this angle? So we can, we can use this figure here, right? So I have the vertical direction y, this one. I want this angle. So let's say this, if this is my angle alpha, um, tangent of alpha, is equal to two meters over uh, 2.5, right? <coughs> so this means alpha is going to be the inverse of the tangent of 2 over 2.5. So alpha is going to be equal to... Can, can someone please do this, this calculation for me?
Yeah. But is it all right if we take the angle on this side and start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. So you are saying if you take this angle, for example, right? This? Yes. Yes, it's perfectly fine. Anyone has this, has this angle alpha, please? 38.66, right? So 38.66 degrees. Very good. So we can say that this angle here is 38.66. Now, for this, for this other vector FAC, we will need this angle now. Now we can do in this way, this angle, for example, which means is this angle here, right? <coughs> Let's say this is my angle beta, for example. So I can do in a similar way, I can say tangent of beta is going to be equal to 1 meter over 2 meters. So it means beta is going to be equal to... 26.57. Sorry? 26.57 26 degrees, which is this angle here. I can put 26.57, okay? All right. So I'm going to delete, clean this a little bit. So did it this. Okay. Now, let's start with uh, force FAB. So I'm going to add my vector for the force FAB. So my X component, what I have to do is I have to decompose this force into a an horizontal and a vertical component. I'm going to write like this. So this is my horizontal component, right? And this is going to be my vertical component, right? Good. Can you see what I'm doing? So force FAB, I'm decomposing the force into, into the coordinate axis. Our horizontal one in the x direction. Basically, I'm projecting this vector into x and y, right? Uh, and now, for this vector here, we just add first the x component. You think it's going to be positive or negative, the x component? Negative, right? So you can see why it is very important to decompose the, the force into the axis, because then you can see if it is positive or negative, and then you can obtain <coughs> the component very easily. So as you said, the horizontal component is negative, minus, and what is the intensity of that component? So basically, I want now, I want this norm of this vector here. Yes? Minus FAB. So FAB is basically the intensity of that, comp uh, of that force FAB, right? We don't know yet. That's what we are looking for. You said times sine of... Let me zoom in. You all agree with this? For the horizontal component? <coughs> what about the vertical component now? <laughs> this component here, this one. What about this component now? You think it's positive or negative? positive right so and the norm of this of this vector is how much fab times what cos <coughs> very good so this is our force fab <coughs> decomposed into the coordinate axis 
So the vector, force vector is here, represented. Now, let me see if I can do one thing. Let me move this a little bit. Yeah, I can move here, it's easier then. Now, we need to add our final vector, which is our force FAC. So we are going to do the same, same thing for force FAC. So the, this is, can be a bit confusing now. Let me try to clean this up a little bit so with this. Mm. Oops. I think it's better to do it everything again, right? So we have our FAB that we did already, and we have our FAC. And this is our horizontal axis, and we saw that this angle here was 26.57, right? Is it correct? 26.57, right? Okay, so, so I also need the y-axis, is this one. So what I'm saying, what we have to do now for FAC is the same thing. I have to decompose this FAC into the horizontal and vertical direction. So this is going to be my horizontal component. And this is going to be my vertical component, right? So let's work the horizontal component first. Is it going to be positive or negative? Negative. negative. So we have FAC now, which is the norm of the force in the cable AC. And I need to multiply this by what? Cos 26.57, right? The vertical component, this one, is it going to be positive or negative? Positive. And I have FAC, correct? Times what? Sine. Sine. Very good. That's all we have. You agree with me? This is all the forces we have. Um, so now, we just need to say that the summation of all these forces need to be equal to zero to be in equilibrium. Or if you want, the resultant of the forces acting on particle A needs to be equal to zero. Is the, the equilibrium equation. Basically, is, is the same as this condition that we have here. Uh, doing, doing that means I will have to, to say that the summation of these vectors needs to be equal <coughs> to a vector which horizontal component is zero, and vertical component is also equal to zero. And when I now, when I now check the um, horizontal or x components of this addition of these vectors and equal it to zero, I have our first equation, which I'm going to write here below. Let's see. I can say, so what do I have? I have 300 minus FAB sine of 38. <coughs> 66 minus FAC cosine 26.57 needs to be equal to zero. This is my first equation. My first equilibrium equation. My second equilibrium equation, I need to look now at the vertical components of this resultant force. And then I can say it is equal to minus 20 times 9.81 plus FAB cosine. 38.66 plus FAC sine 
26.57 equal to zero. Right. So basically we have, now if you look carefully, we have two equations for two unknowns, which are FAB and FAC, which are the forces in the cables, AC and AB. So I just solve this system of equations and uh, get the forces, get the answer for our question, all right? You see, the, if, you, if you do this, this kind of problems the, following this methodology, like creating the free body diagram, it's extremely important. So uh, this is the most critical thing, in my opinion, is the correct construction of the free body diagram. <coughs> you have the, the body you are analyzing, in this case it's a particle, particle A is our body, <coughs> We isolate that body. By isolating, I mean we need to represent all the forces that were acting on that body, right? And these are all the forces that we had in particle A. And then the only thing we have to do now is to add all these forces together and say the resultant of these forces equal to zero to be in equilibrium. And that will give us what we call the equilibrium equations. And if we have two unknowns, in this case, the forces in cable AB, cable AC, we need two equilibrium equations to get these two unknowns, always like that. And this, this is a good... Um, uh, I was saying this is a good uh, opportunity to... So the number of equilibrium equations we need depends on the number of unknowns that we are looking for. This is a very good opportunity to introduce our second example for today, this one. And this example is very important. I, I, I decided to choose this example because... Yeah, you have some question? Does this question involve turning moments? No, not yet. This is the equilibrium of a particle. Equilibrium of a particle is only summation of forces equal to zero. We are going now, next week, to do the equilibrium of 3D rigid bodies, and we will ha need to have the moments, okay? But not yet, so far, right? Okay, so why I, I choose this example? Because in this example, for example, what I, what I want to show you, clearly show you is, here is, if you decide to do the free body diagram of this point E, if you decide to isolate this point E and represent all the forces that you have in this point E, we can, we can do it here very quickly. Look at this. What is going to happen is, this is point E. Which forces do I have in this point E? I have force in cable ED. Right? What else do I have in this point E? The weight, right? Uh, which is, sorry? You said the weight, right? Yeah, let me represent the weight first. So we have the weight here. This is going to be the mass of cylinder A, which is unknown. That's what we are looking for, is unknown. Is in the question, right? Is here in the question. Determine the mass of cylinder A. So this is unknown, the mass of cylinder A. So I need to multiply the mass by the acceleration of gravity, which is 9.81. And then we have, like you said, we have the force in cable EB. All agree with me? We need to add also cable ED. Sorry, EB. EB. So we have, which you don't know, we don't know, right? We don't know the force in cable EB. We don't know the force in cable EB. We don't know the mass of our cylinder A. So if you, if you do here a very quick balance of the unknowns that you have, and the equilibrium equations, I'm going to write like this, equilibrium equations, how many unknowns and equilibrium equations do you have? Unknowns, we, we have three, which are FED, FEB, and the mass of cylinder A. 
Equilibrium equations. This is a two-dimensional problem. Equilibrium of a particle. I have only two equilibrium equations, which are summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero, summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero. This means if I choose point E, I cannot solve my problem. I don't have enough equilibrium equations. So it means what? It means I need to get help from other points in my structure. In this case, point B. Right? So what I need to do is, I need to, let me see if I can, let me move this one a little bit. Let me move this one as well. <laughs> Okay. If you look, if you look at this at this <coughs> cable, so basically you have the cable like this, right? So you will have here you will have forty times nine point eighty one, which is the weight. Uh, here you have the force in cable EB. Right? And then you have here your pulley and your support. Carefully, I am cutting this cable here. That's why I have this force FEB, because I'm cutting the cable. And I am cutting this cable here. And then I have this force, which is equal to the weight of the cylinder, right? And because this is a cable, the tension in the cable is equal all over the cable, so we can say that the norm of FEB is going to be equal to 40 <coughs> times 9.81, right? It's the same force in the cable. Can you say that for the support, x equal to MRI? Sorry? No, no. For the support, you are, you are talking about the su support at B, right? Yeah. Bx and By. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you need to do the equilibrium then. Once you have this, so if you want to calculate the reactions at support, once, once you calculate FEB, that you have FEB, <laughs> what you do now is you put point B, you put your Bx, By, right? And then you have here 40 times 9.81. And you have here your FEB, which is also 40 times 9.81. If you look at this, right? You see, what, but basically what I'm doing is now I'm isolating point B. I'm also <coughs> removing the support and replacing the support with the reactions. That's what, what we all, just about that, we just finished it. So, in this case, look at this. You have two unknowns, which are Bx, By, and then you have two equilibrium equations, right? Summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero. Summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero. You obtain Bx, By. So, they are not zero, the reactions, right? If, if, the, if the reactions are zero, it means the supporting is doing nothing there. It's like if you don't have any support, right? You were saying something. Are you ignoring, like, the first one or the proponents of FEB when you're just making it equal to the I'm not ignoring. I mean, you just made it equal to the No, I mean equal because this is a cable, right? Yeah. So when you have a cable, the tension in the... You have the same tension at every point yeah, of the cable, cable right? <coughs> so the tension or the force in this point... The force in this point <coughs> is equal to the force in this point, equal to the force in this point, equal to this, because it's a cable, okay? But I'm not ignoring any component or is not okay? Yeah. They are there, right? Yeah. For example, now here, in this, to calculate the reactions Bx and By, if, uh, if you want to, if you use the equilibrium equations, you need to decompose the tension in the cable into a horizontal and vertical yeah. the components, right? To obtain the, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm, I'm not ignoring that. Um, all right, so, 
Okay, so let's let's continue this this example. So we have the force in uh, in cable EB, so which is FEB. How much is it? Can you please do forty times nine point eighty one? Three nine two point four newtons. And now what we do is we replace. So this this force here is going to be. So it's the same cable, look, again, same thing, right? Cable FEB. So the force in this, the force in this cable, in this point, or the force in this point, or the force in this point, or, force, or the force acting here on point E from the cable EB is going to be 392, 92.4 Newtons, right? Okay. So now that we have this force, we can now use the two equilibrium equations for this example. So I'm going to, I need to find some space. I'm going to delete this, let's see. Okay, so now let's work these vectors now. So we need a coordinate system, x, y. So let's start with the weight. So the weight is um, in the vertical direction only, so we don't have any horizontal component. The vertical one is going to be negative, right? So minus. 9.81 ma. So this is the weight vector. Let's include now the vector for the horizontal force FED. FED is opposite to x, so it needs to be negative. Right? So minus FED. FED is still unknown. So we don't know the value of FED. And now we need to decompose, we need to decompose this force in cable EB into a horizontal and vertical component. These ones I'm doing in blue. <clears throat> so this angle is 30 degrees. You can see here, right? 30 degrees. Agree? So this is 30 degrees. I'm going to include it here. So let's start with the horizontal one. How much is the horizontal? You tell me. Three ninety two point four times cost thirty. And the vertical component, how much is it? <laughs> Time sign, correct? <coughs> That's all the forces we have for this free body diagram, right? So in order for this to be in equilibrium, we need to have this equal to zero. Uh, Look at this, we have one unknown FED, two second unknown, the mass of cylinder A, and we have two equations. <coughs> First equation is this one, which will give us minus FED plus 392.4. Cosine of 30 degrees needs to be equal to zero. First equilibrium equation. Second equilibrium equation is the vertical components of the resultant of the forces, which is <coughs> minus 9.81 times the mass of cylinder A plus 392.4 sine of 30 equal to zero. Okay? So if we solve these two equilibrium equations, we get FED 
and we get the mass of cylinder A. In this example, the only thing we were looking for, I think, yeah, was the mass of cylinder A to keep or to hold the assembly in the position shown. Basically what they're saying is to get the equilibrium, right? Um, so, yeah, that's it. You can now just get these numbers at home very easily. So just to summarize this example, so I, I tried to show you, in this, the goal of this example was to show you how we can use different free body diagrams to obtain our equilibrium equations. Every free body diagram or every particle we isolate will give us two equilibrium equations. So we need to do this balance between the unknowns we, we are looking for and the equilibrium equations we need. 